Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna talk about how to care after you or kid, specifically Phalaenopsis, after you report to them. So if you have new Phalaenopsis in your collection, if you want to report to them or if you have just reported them and you are curious about how you can look after them properly after reporting in order to keep them healthy or maybe not as stressed as they can possibly be when they got reported this video is for you just to let you know last week i did post a video when i was reporting for phalaenopsis so i decided that this video would be really good to come together with the other one so i will talk to you a little bit about what i will do with the newly reported orchids like this one that i have in my collection how i look after them and hopefully they will not get stressed or if they get stressed i will notice in time so let's start first things first when you report your orchid the first thing that i do is to water them some people tell you to avoid watering i don't think it's the best idea we have to water our plants specifically if our mix is dry because otherwise these plants will start to get dry and dry and they will get more stressed so in order to avoid creating even more stress i firstly water my plants after my reporting if you watch my videos you probably know it but after i report i water them i will place them on my shelving or with my other orchids and when i will water again every time i notice that the potting mix is getting dry Phalaenopsis, they can dry well between watering but because this plant has been recently reported i would tend to water it a little bit when it's approaching dryness to avoid stress so i won't leave my plants to be completely dry or in a drought without water for a long period of time because otherwise I can risk losing this plant or losing the roots there inside this pot. On the other hand, I cannot keep my orchids soggy because these plants, they are epiphytes and specifically Phalaenopsis, they won't enjoy being in a soggy environment all the time. So it's about balance, look into the mix, check the roots, see if it's approaching dryness and if it is, you can offer some water to the potting mix. Remember, always avoid watering from above if you don't have experience and don't let water trapped among the leaves and in the crown of your orchid to avoid rot. So now, let's talk about light. What I do with light? Phalaenopsis, they do very well with intermediate light or even bright light but not direct sunlight. Specifically with newly reported orchids, we have to be more careful so if you are placing near a window sill, it's really important that it's offered some indirect sunlight. Be careful with direct sunlight, we don't want to burn the leaves when we have a plant that is adapting to a new potting mix. Also, we have to look at the leaves to check if the leaves are not getting like super light green type of leaves. So that means that it's receiving too much light, so you probably would have to change the position. On the other hand, orchids they need some bright light even some indirect sunlight so don't place it in a dark room because your plant will not survive but more than that if you avoid direct sunlight or exposing it to a super hot sun it should be fine next let's talk about temperature it's the same thing with all of our orchids that we grow indoors if you're comfortable inside our house these plants will probably be as well but because they are a little bit more sensitive while we, while they are adapting to the new potting mix. It's completely natural that they will be more sensitive to change as well. So if you can keep an even temperature around our plants while they are adapting, it's completely advisable if they will enjoy, they will appreciate it. For example, if you have a super cold wind and you open the window and the temperature we will go very low that's not really good for them or even if you have super hot environment again 40 degrees celsius or something like that they will probably survive but especially if they don't have many roots if they are a little bit stressed is not the ideal situation for these plants next thing is fertilizing it's very important that you don't 
over feed your plant right now. They don't need these extra nutrients, not now. Wait, I would tell you, wait a month, four weeks before you start fertilizing your orchid. Is the time that this plant will be settled inside the pot and will be more adapted, will be probably pushing out new roots. So that's the time when you can start fertilizing it with your other orchid or maybe introducing a little bit of fertilizer, a little bit less than you do offer to your other Phalaenopsis. But that's when I would start fertilizing my orchid. Next thing is to keep an eye out for stress. So I mentioned in my last video and I mentioned in many, many videos, but after you repot your plants, your Phalaenopsis, it's really important that you keep an eye on the leaves, check if they are plumpy, if they are not wrinkled, papery, if they start to show some of these signs, that means they are not hydrating the plant properly, so this plant might be losing some of its roots. Keep an eye inside the potting needs, check if you have roots, how the roots are doing, if the roots are growing inside the pot, if you notice that you have brown roots, black roots inside the potting mix, something is wrong, you might have a case of root rot. So looking for some of these signs is really important to make sure that your orchid is healthy. And if you encounter some of these signs, it would be really great if you could unpot your plant, look into the root system, check what's wrong, maybe cut the dead roots and repot your plant again. And check if that potting mix is actually the best potting mix for your plant. But it's normal for some plants to have some sort of shock after repotting. So if that's the case, you will need to baby it a little bit, give it some time, and it will hopefully bounce back. Polynopsis orchids, they are extremely resilient plants. Next, it's pests. Pelanopsis attract pests as well, like other plants, especially if you have other house plants or other orchids inside your home. They can have mealybugs, spider mites, thrips, there are a range of different pests and I can attack these plants. And I notice with plants that are a little bit more vulnerable and maybe have been recently reported or not doing very well in terms of their healthy, pests love to attack these plants, so keep an eye look among the leaves, check if everything is clean, and if you notice some pests, treat it immediately because this plant is already a little bit more sensitive because it has been transplanted for or repotted, taken out from one environment and placed in a different one. So for this case, in this case specifically, pests can be very difficult for these plants and they can actually suffer a bit so it's really important that we pay attention to some of these signs and try to eliminate the pests if you can. Hopefully that's not going to happen to you, but it is, there is this possibility. Something else really important here is to be patient. These plants will take some time to start pushing out roots or even producing more flower spikes. They have their own season. So the most important thing is to be patient here. Look after your plants with love and care. They will grow. They will reward you in the future. Healthier plant is. We'll probably have more and more beautiful blooms. So it is amazing and it's super rewarding to have these plants for a while. And then in the future, we look at them and like, oh my gosh, they were so tiny one day. And now they are pushing out all of these flowers. So I can promise you that it can be rewarding, but you need to be patient a little bit and then you will see the results. And that was everything that I have to tell you about looking after your Phalaenopsis after you repot them. This one was repotted last week with some other Phalaenopsis. And I hope to show you them in the future with more blooms and maybe a diverse range of blooms as well. You can talk more about how to look after these beauties in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear more about your experience with orchids and stay here with me. I will have a ton of new content coming out soon. 
So that's all. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.